Hello there and welcome. Uh, if you have, like me, missed having the ability to Hello there and welcome. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about assets and especially how you can present asset objects in Confluence. If you come from data center like I do or have worked a lot of data center uh, like I have, then you are probably aware that there are apps that you can use to present this one in Confluence in a very good way. And it is one of my most used functionalities, I think. Uh, one of the most used macros I use in Confluence for data center. But if you are from a cloud perspective, you also know that this one hasn't really been possible. There is, uh, I think it's only one app that is available for assets and not sure how good that one is. I never used it. Um, but now Atlassian has announced that they are now in open beta for testing their native uh, asset macro for Confluence. So let's jump into the community article and see what kind of functionality or what they are offering in this one. So here we are now in the Atlassian community article written by Mohammed Assam from the Atlassian team. And as you can see, they have mode moved this uh, new macro now into open beta so it is according to the comments down here and uh, you can see let me see if i can find it here we have it they should be at 100 percent rolled out to all atlassian uh, cloud instances for this uh, for confluence so you should all have it now available so the way you use it is you use the slash command on your keyboard or you go into the macros and you search for assets beta and when you do that, you will get this kind of view. And uh, I don't know if you have worked with this one before, but the way you do it is you first then uh, select the schema that you want to import from. Uh, so you pick the name of the, the schema that you have in assets. And then you need to write uh, a little query uh, so you can actually have it. And if you haven't done this one before, then uh, you can start by typing object type as one word and then uh, equals and within two of these uh what do you call it these uh quotations i guess uh you can then write the name of the uh of the object schema that you want to use so if you for example have one that is called atlassian configuration like i have and in that one you have one called integrations uh, and in that uh, object scheme you have all your integrations uh, documented then you would type in then object type equals and then within these quotations you will then type in integrations and then you would click the search uh, functionality here on the side and that one will then render out a table and the way it will actually work is that you will on the, when you have this table you will actually see a little icon up at the top and that will allow you to set the columns so you can actually select which of the attributes in your data object that you want to show in this list uh, so it is a very good implementation. Uh, I'm not against it at all. Uh, it does not have, uh, for example, the functionality to have this object icon at the end that I'm used to. Then you can click on it and you can see the full object. Um, but it will show you the table of things that you, uh, that you need to present. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there anything else we need to know? Uh, you need you must have your service management premium, of course, uh, because otherwise you do not have assets. So you cannot use this one if you don't have uh, assets. It will be kind of pointless uh, to try to show something that you don't have. Um, other than that, there were a few, uh, like Tomislav here, he is asking if we can have, so we can also show this one to People do not have your service management license, uh, which is very, very, very good um, because that way you can have this one for all kinds of purposes. You can have it in Confluence to show different things. Um, but the way it is now, if you don't have your service management license, then you cannot see add objects there. So Mohammed actually confirms uh, it is in, in progress and they are aiming to have it in the next quarter. So that would mean uh, sometime between April and June. Uh, and that one would be really, really appreciated, I think, for many of us. And also, Chris here, he asked for, uh, so the same thing here, he is asking about the content, and also if we can search, sort, filter, and export 
uh, from the table. Uh, now, search, I agree with if you have a long uh, list. And I haven't tried this to see how many objects you actually show. Uh, I don't know if it has pagination. If it has pagination, then yes, search would be very useful. Sortable could be as easy as just making the columns just clickable so you can sort uh, on that one. And filterable, uh, that one, uh, I don't know if it is. I don't know how Chris was thinking about filter here because you should not have, or I should not tell him how he should do it. But from my perspective, it's better to filter it in the in the in the query instead uh, rather than having this huge mass. So maybe filter is not something that I think should come very quickly. If you can search it, you can probably filter it also. Exportable, I would say no. Uh, if you need to export a, a data set from uh, from assets, do it from within assets instead. I don't think it should be a functionality that should be in Confluence because it can be abused. Uh, and it will still be the same um, functionality as you already have in assets. Maybe have a link for it so you can go to assets instead and do it from there. Other than that, uh, Looks like Rune is having some problem to add it to the sandbox, and I'm I'm guessing that is because he had a sandbox that was created before he got the update. So you probably need to kill that sandbox and create a new one. Um, but on that, I think uh, this is. I've been waiting for this one. Uh, this one is at the top of my uh, wish list, uh, or was on the top of my wish list, and now it's here. So. I'm very curious and I would really want to know how you're feeling about this one. I think this one is uh, a must have for working with assets, specifically when it comes to documentation. I don't want to duplicate the data, I just want to input the table there and have the information in Confluence around uh, the data itself. But that was it uh, for this video. Uh, as always, I hope you have an awesome day and a great week.